Well, this is where we start the day, and this is where we end the day. Welcome to, and you're at the right place, uh, uh, Infinite Tween Middle School for Life. Welcome to our life as Cyborg Alpha. Cyborg Alpha began as a research project oh, many years ago uh, into uh, cybernetics, uh, artificial intelligence, and has evolved into a... Uh, a point where it is time to vlog and it's gonna be more of a fun type of vlog I had done more serious vlogs I still am doing more serious vlogs uh, you will see as you watch on Cyborg Alpha TV Network you'll see more serious vlogs pop up including lectures and uh, uh, other vlogs on other areas of research that I'm doing this is gonna be a fun vlog because Cyborg Alpha is, is, is a, a cyborg is half human half computer the cyborg part, the, the, the computer part, I am the human part, the cyborg, cyborg part uh, is uh, an infinite tween. Uh, it's like middle school for life. And it's basically, this is the way research goes. If you're doing exploration research, you're really pushing the edges. Uh, then your, your comfort level in terms of how you feel is something akin to middle school. You really... You have a better degree of understanding than you did in elementary school, but you're still not necessarily at the confidence level that you have when you're in high school. So you sort of have that sort of that in between uh, 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 sense of, or, or because you're always sort of pushing that boundary of what your what your knowledge is, and this is where uh, uh, cyborg alpha is at this point. This is where I am in my research. I'm con continuously. Uh, pushing the, my boundaries, pushing as far as I can go, uh, and this is the, this is the nature of exploration research: is to go out as far as you can. And this is sort of along with my degree of uh, quantum mechanics and cybernetics. Uh, that was my my two beginning areas. Uh, this is the point that has evolved to, and you'll start seeing how everything sort of pulls in together uh, all at once. And when I start here, I have my uh, I have my media room, and and one of my research desks, which is a more comfortable research desk. And being a nerd, I am a large kid. I am a large uh, tween. Uh, I'm in my media room, and I start my day off and end my day watching vlogs on YouTube. And uh, I tend to enjoy the family type of vlogs rather than everything else. And so. Uh, this is how this is vlog is going to evolve. Is we are going to do as we as in Cyborg Alpha, me and the computer part. Uh, Cyborg Alpha is the girl. She's female. Uh, you can actually program uh, gender into uh, an artificial intelligent uh, uh, an AI entity. Uh, the artificial artificial intelligence entity. Uh, the entity is supposed to be independent, is supposed to evolve in that matter. Uh, you work on the theoretics and the concept before you get into the actual uh, coding aspect of things. So that's where we are now. We're still really much, very much in the concept phase of things. But a number of uh, some of the coding and some of the we we'll call the platform, the underlying platform of Cyborg Alpha is starting to come together, including the network. So this, but this is not going to be a serious vlog. It's going to be, well, a tween vlog. It's going to be what you would see at a, a, a teen vlog or, or, or a tween vlog. And because uh, Cyborg Alpha is female, it's going to be oriented in that direction. So anyways, uh, we are starting off our day today. It's, uh, uh, it's uh, Sunday, the, I think the 12th, uh, July 12th today. I don't actually have, uh, let me check my other tablet that I have here. I don't really know. <laughs> That's the problem. When, you, when you're doing all the research at this level, uh, you really don't know what day it is. You forget the time. Yeah. So we're beginning and ending our day at uh, on Sunday, July 12th at 6.30 6, 6 in the morning. I have to go do some gaming now. Then I'll watch some more uh, vlogs afterwards. Typically in here, it's been about 90 degrees, 95 degrees with the heat wave. I found a new way to cool my place down, so it's going to make things a lot easier. And I'm trying out a new microphone system, so... Well, I have the AC on in the background, 
it is time for the next segment of the vlog. So, it's been, it's a couple, well, more than a couple hours. I think, uh, I last talked to you around 6 o'clock in the morning. It is now 11 o'clock at night as well. Uh, 10 minutes before, 10 minutes before midnight. Uh, is, I typically sleep during the day. There is no real night or day for me here. Uh, I don't really sleep in a standard schedule the way most people do. And then it becomes very difficult because uh, uh, typically when you go to bed, it's one day, and then when you get up, it's the next day. So you always say, when I get up the next day, uh, in your mind, you're correct, and you don't have to think that you're getting up and, and, and going to bed, going to bed and getting up at the same in the same at a, in the same day. And so what happens is it throws your sense of what day it is off uh, you know, very significantly. <laughs> and so you could miss days, weeks, and uh, so on and so forth. Uh, you could miss large chunks of time uh, just trying to remember what time and day it is, and you know, or what day it is. And that's sort of the case here. Uh, many vloggers will shoot a B-roll. In other words, uh, they will... If they make a mistake, they'll cut it out and put in a correction or so on and so forth. Uh, I'm not going to do that. Basically, it's what you see is what you get. It's extremely hot in here. Uh, we have the height of the day. There are no windows in the research unit uh, that can open. Right now, I have my front door open and then I have the back door open. Uh, it's just about 80 degrees. So, as you go through depending on what you go through on the day like today uh, there was a lot of meditation with close to four hours of meditation and metaphysics does play a key role in here uh, is, is, and med 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 meditation is a, an essential part of, of metaphysics uh, uh, there's a large chunk of metaphysics or even even the regular physics that, that you can't understand uh, without some form of meditation and what the meditation does is it gets you outside of your own sense of self. And as you do this, uh, you get to see beyond your own ego. And that's what the whole sense of self is. In, in terms of the, the, the functions of meditation, is to get you to see beyond your own individual self. That way you can sort of see things... Um, outside of the universe without your putting your own kind of spin on or or influencing it in a very negative manner so as I said I went uh, I, I, I did do some sleeping I sleep in four hour segments uh, um, making some uh, a meal for the week I went to my parents house I did three uh, four hours worth of meditation did some gaming and so here we are now in the front room. This is where my main research desk is. Uh, and these are what I call, in terms of my metaphysics, uh, this is my family. Uh, the relationship to God is, uh, the God is uh, our father. And this is, these are the rest of the family of God. So that's why you have their pictures up. Other people will take this as a, as a cue for worship, that this is something you worship. And they'll have it in that sense. But uh, the sense that I have it in, which is a, a, an ancient sense, is we accept God as the Father, and, and that's why you have the beard, the long hair. There, it's part of a tradition, uh, a spiritual tradition, uh, to maintain the uh, the look of a Swami, the look of a Guru, the the the, the people of higher knowledge. And that's where we'll sort of sit in here. Even though this is uh, our life as cyborg this and that's what we do on a daily basis. Uh, we, we do, we, we try to push the boundaries, try, try to push what we know and how much we know, uh, and look into the understanding of how that a robot or anything that is supposed to be artificially intelligent or, or something along the lines of a sentient being is going to have a behavior. What type of behaviors uh, can be programmed into a system? And this is something that, that's very complex because behavior 
is not specifically defined and so you really have a hard time breaking down the intangibles into some form of code and this is what has eluded most people so far is they can't get the emotion they can't get the behavior uh, the intangible aspects of this into any form of code so we are left with a, a, a sort of a, a, a false persona rather than a real persona but that's that's kind of where we where you go this is uh, what we're doing now and uh, tonight this is the part of the day we cool everything down I haven't gotten back to uh, the vlogs yet I will get back to the vlogs uh, sometime uh, around uh, four o'clock in the morning so I've got another four hours before uh, we get back to the vlogs and the point in the time which which we started and that means that this vlog will be going up in a couple a couple of days I still have a number of administrative things to do but uh, so I'll give myself a couple of days lead so that I can comfortably get this up uh, edit it and get it up well it's about uh, 2 40 in the morning on Monday morning and we're still going uh, so and we're outside taking a breath of fresh air just a, uh, a bit of time before I go back in around four o'clock and begin the last part of the day uh, which would be the, uh, the YouTube vlogs the family vlogs uh, starts off with uh, Yaoi vlogs the Tannerites goes to uh, uh, the Leroy's from there, it's uh, our family nest. Uh, that find me five vlogs, and I have several others. If I have still have time left over, I have several others I watch as well. Uh, and of course, I watch some of the uh, the 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 the, the, uh, the teens have their uh, vlogs. And this is so where to get my ideas in terms of how to put together a teen vlog to cer uh, a certain to do this on a sort of a daily basis. Uh, it's, I'm going to try as much as I can to be daily, but uh, uh, things are complex. They, they, there are things that pop up in the day that uh, you don't expect. Uh, there are long hours. Uh, this, 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 we're outside. We're, I'm vlogging by security light. The, my main lamp, my, my lighting for the video for, is uh, a security lamp. These are the lights outside. You see, go to go to a building uh, that's sort of an industrial area, and you'll see the buildings have these security lights. They're most they're all LED now, so it gives you a nice bright white, and it, you you can actually film with them. So <laughs> I'm out here, and then I'm doing my vlog by security light. That's the that's the light. Uh, uh, yesterday and today, uh, Monday are, are uh, special days for. Uh, the ancient church uh, that I belong to and um, so there was a lot of meditation going on there's uh, I also cook while I meditate uh, I, I, I make uh, I made the meals for the week uh, I still have to do more uh, cooking for tomorrow because uh, a lot of times with these feasts you actually have a lot of food that you're gonna make but you also have your your daily meals uh, I don't buy anything out of the box. Everything, uh, I, everything I have, I have to make. I also have to watch my time in terms of when I actually do my cooking, because uh, it's too hot out to cook during the day. So you usually have to cook, cook at night. And normally I'd be sitting out here. I'd, uh, it's cold enough now that I'm wearing a t-shirt. Usually inside it's not uh, that cold or cool enough, so I'm usually without a t-shirt. And if I stood up, you'd see I'd be wearing uh, uh, these uh, sport shorts, which are uh, sufficiently uh, um, lacking so that you uh, remain cool. And so this, this is going to be an attempt to do the daily vlogging. It's, uh, I am not going to do much editing except for the front and you know, the, front and the back. Uh, I have to work on my transitions from point to point uh, throughout the day but that's going to happen as uh, I do the vlogs more and more I'll get more and more comfortable with the camera the conversation will full flow because you have to remember from segment to segment uh, what you said each particular time and 
that's not always an easy thing to do. Remember what you did four or five hours ago, or, or, or however long it progresses. So you're seeing segments and chunks. Chunk. So you didn't see me cook. You didn't see the meditations. Uh, and there's multiple forms of meditation. But you did see me now out here as I'm relaxing and getting a breath of, breath of, breath of fresh air. Uh, I do like sitting outside. I do like the outdoors. Uh, I am an outdoors person, so. <laughs> so anyways, uh, we'll come back and end the vlog, because uh, I tried to do that. I'll have to come back and end the vlog uh, when we're watching uh, our vlogs. Well, I came in early. Uh, I was hungry, so I had something to eat. Uh, I had a little bit of a, left, a half of a leftover sub while I was watching uh, Yowie vlogs, and um, I just finished watching the uh, Our Life. Uh, they're off to uh, Disney to Orlando in this one, and uh, Yowie vlogs. Uh, it, it, this is uh, after uh, Branson's honeymoon. They were they talk about the uh, the disease that can't be mentioned on YouTube. <laughs> Everything that's going on this year in terms of the quarantines, the lockdowns, yet you can't mention what the disease is. So let's call it chronic gas. <laughs> so we've this is the, the this is the fart panic of uh, two, uh, of twenty twenty. The great fart panic of uh, twenty twenty. Uh, the, the 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 condition is chronic gas. That's what we'll call it. And I think as people talk about chronic gas and their temperature, they're taking their temperatures with the with the, uh, with the, 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 with the thermometer to read from the forehead. Uh, if you are aware of survival or uh, any type of, uh, uh, of, of how body heat escapes from the body, the parts of the hands, this is where are the extremities, the hands, the feet, and the head, uh, are what you need to keep covered in order to keep your body warm because this is where the largest amount of heat escapes. Uh, and so what happens is they're using the forehead uh, to determine the temperature, but what happens is the skin temperature is not uh, is not the core inner temperature. There's often a difference between the surface temperature and the inner core temperature. And so the thermometer, when it's reading the, reading the temperature, gives you a reading uh, that is supposed to calculate or take into concept, take into consideration the surrounding environment's uh, temperature. But some do a better job than others, and this is where you can actually have variations and say, well, you have a temperature because your temperature is above 99 degrees uh, uh, Fahrenheit. Well, not necessarily. It just means that there might be an error with the thermometer, but this is the whole problem is, is that the, the fever is not necessarily an indication that you have an illness. Uh, fevers occur for a number of different reasons, including fatigue. If you've done a lot of exercising and your body is sore, when you're going into the body's repair, you're going to have, more often than not, you're going to have a fever. And you're going to have those aches and chills that you would get if you actually had a flu or something like that. But the thing is, is again, well, if you can't mention what's going on, you can't mention the disease, and <laughs> in many cases, uh, it is, it's, it's, it's just the, the great fart panic of uh, uh, 2020, and this is uh, how we end up with things. But this is this is my TV. Uh, several years ago, I decided that uh, I had enough to watch uh, with YouTube and uh, and uh, with my uh, with my Android box. That I didn't need cable anymore, so I cut the cable and uh, really haven't looked back. I'm, in fact, I've got too much content to watch. So this is going to be the, the oh, there, there goes my sound system. Uh, it's a Bluetooth sound system. And it turns off every once in a while if you don't have uh, sound going through it. But this is the end of uh, the first day's vlog. It's uh, uh, Monday is around four o'clock in the morning, and uh, after. Uh, I finish watching the next series of vlogs. Uh, we're going to go up to Leroy's next. The re Leroy's next. And then uh, probably around our family nest. After that, or maybe uh, Family Five vlogs. I'll begin the next day's, uh, the next day's vlog. So, see you uh, in a couple of minutes. <laughs> or a half hour, 45 minutes. 
Uh, we'll see when we come back.